What's up guys, we're gonna build beats. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use Slicex like an NPC. So if you're having trouble with samples or whatever, I'm gonna be helping you out with that. If you guys haven't subbed already, make sure that sub button because it does help me out. So let's hop right in here. Um, I'll just play the sample for a little bit just so you can hear it. So um, this is just a custom sample. Obviously we can't be using real samples on YouTube, so. <laughs> Okay, so we have a sample. So what you would do, you would double click, right? Double click on your sample, right click here, go to open new SliceX channel. All right, so everything's in SliceX now. So the problems that we have is that the sample won't play all the way through when we click it and they overlap one another. So we're gonna fix those and it's really easy. So first thing you wanna do is just chop it. So you come over here and then you wanna right click, go to large grid slicing, or whatever you want to do you can manually do it if you want to but i just i'm just doing this for the video and then now all right but that's if you right click all right so if you right click it it'll play all the way through and do you know how it should do but um, once you play it okay and then if we turn this off up here and then if we, they'll overlap instead of cutting one another so we're gonna fix the cutting first. So what you wanna do is click this right here. It's a regions tab, click it, go all the way down, go to set all cut groups to, and then this thing will come up. Now you wanna press this to one, type one in, okay? And now everything is cutting. All right, so if you wanna do this manually, which I don't know why, but if you just wanna know how, what it's doing, basically up here is the cut, cut group, all right, and then all of these markers will be set to none. So what you would have to do originally is just go to go through every one and pull it up to one. So they cut each other. Same like how you would do 808, but just with your samples. So um, there's a fix for that. Let me make sure all these are on one. Okay, so the one that everybody probably wants to know how to fix is it's not playing all the way through. So it's right in your face, but they don't actually tell you that it's here. So what you wanna do is just click this button, enable envelope. So this will come on. So what you wanna do is delete this, this S, delete it. And now what you have to do is just right click and hold and just drag it all the way out. Um, you wanna do a longer one. If you do a shorter one, um, it's gonna still cut it off. So you wanna make sure that it's kind of a, a longer line. So I just, to be safe, I just, you know, go all the way out. So now when you play it. All right, and then you can record it and then play it instead of having to go into the piano, which is fine, but you know, some people kind of like that hands-on experience. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.